नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटल एज अ पार्ट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट एंड यू नो वेदर यू से इट एज रिक्वेस्ट वेदर यू से इट एज मोटिवेशन वॉट एवर इट इज वॉट एवर दैट I have been doing so far this video recordings or uh, whatever you say you know I also need certain kind of motivation at first place and secondly I am doing it because I wanted to give it back to the society I also spent lot of time and burn more energy as well just give that small bit of it or the you know, small part you know where you know if you could really think that yes whatever he is telling let's try listening to it and give that small bit of support it could be cash or kind or whatever it is if you can donate small bit of it my channel would be really thankful to you and i would be able to produce much better results it's a request and i also commit mistake and mistakes as well i am also normal human being please do correct if you think that i have committed mistake i am telling wrong at any place please do correct me you can always call me on my phone number 9121379100 this is what is my gpay number as well and the phone pay number also is the same if you see though i am sharing those details with you and in case if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to send it across to the email address of n a r a d l a r a m a c h a n d r a at the rate yahoo.com or simple smith123846 at the rate gmail.com small part of donation whether it is cash whether it is kind whether it is help or whatever it is will really motivate individuals like me to do videos like this i appreciate your patience i thank again for watching my videos in advance please do like subscribe share stay blessed have a
नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू वेदर्स एंड उपनिषद्स टेक्स्ट्स एज अ होल आई हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट द एग्जिस्टेंस एंड नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द ह्यूमन कॉन्शियसनेस बाय एंड लार्ज today at this level where there is lot of toxicity and intoxication of the vulnerable energy sources that effect at minuscule level not all of us are able to get to a point to understand what we are up to and what is it that we are thinking about <clears throat> as a part of ritual i have been doing or reciting certain shlokas from devi khadgamala or the you know lalita like अस्य श्री शुद्ध शक्ति माला महामंत्र उपस्थ्रियावर्ण आदि ऋषि दैवी गायत्री छंद सात्विकट्टारिकपीठस्थित श्रीमद्कामेशरांक निलया श्रीमद्कामेशरी देवता ऐं बीज क्लीं शक्ति सहुकीलक श्रीदेवी प्रीत खटकसिद्धे विनियोग गुरूर्ब्रह्म गुरूर्ष्णु गुरूर्देव महेशर गुरूर्साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ऐमंगुष्टाभ्या नम क्लीं तर्जनीभ्या नम सौ मध्यमाभ्या नम सौना का सर्वोत्रोस्य by doing this what i am trying to do is here i am talking about aditya sun i am invoking 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 sun's energy directly or indirectly and varuna whole of the aspect of panchabhuta tatva and शुद्ध शक्ति माला महामंत्र शुद्ध शक्ति शुद्ध शक्ति मीन्स हियर द प्यूर दैट प्यूर एनर्जी एंड दैट प्यूर कॉन्शियसनेस विच नीड्स टू बी वेन वी आर डूइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ वर्क और वॉट एवर इट इज एंड सात्विकार भट्टारिक पीठ स्थित श्रीमद Sattvic means it is that purest action and Peter Stita Stita means over here there is one mother goddess there is only one goddess that is existing in the universe which we call it as कामेश्वरा और कामेश्वरी अर्धनारीश्वर शी डज नॉट हैव फॉर्म और फॉर्मलेस एंड वेन आई से ऐं बीज क्लीन शक्ति क्लीन शक्ति ऑल ऑफ दीज आर द एनर्जी सोर्सेस दैट आर हेल्पिंग मी टू गेट कनेक्टेड टू हर ऐं हृदयाय नम क्लीं शिसे स्वाहा सौ शिखाय दीज आर द प्राइमरी एनर्जी चक्र स्थल श्रीदेवी श्रीदेवी प्रीतर्धे श्रीदेवी यीतर्धे मीन्स ऐम ट्रयिंग टू 
invoke that Sri Devi which is pure in nature, which has quite few qualities. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Saksha. Who is this Guru? Who is that God? Existing, who does not have form, is both form and formless, but still exists at a minuscule level. Understand this. When we are performing these kinds of mantras, specifically from Devi Khatkamala, these are actually strong references that give ability for an individual to get that energy source. Now, getting back to the topic, I was speaking about the human body and the human brain in cross reference to the multiverse wherein I was talking about the perception of time and reality, psychology, neurology, spirituality or philosophy, portal to spiritual world, intuitive uh, and uh, metaphysical existence and unity with whole and transcendental and center for cosmic consciousness. Let's get much further with the subject. As we go about at an abysmal level, the subject is going to be really intriguing and interesting. At again, it is not as easy as it is understood. One needs to have that uh, you know, and put that thought in that. For a layman to understand this, this might be tough for someone who is not understood the Vedas from the grassroot level. They just like today what is happening is this consciousness, right, which I am talking about doesn't limit in the within the time and space that is existing in and around. In precise, when I say time and space that already exists in our human body, which has various planets, as I was saying, telling, right, this multiverse has 100 billion galaxies and brain has 65 billion neurons, 100 billion galaxies, out of which only 9 are the planets which we are taking because logically they are connected. Now how is this connection possible when I am trying to say this consciousness, right, at an initial level, at transcendental level, to get connected to the celestial level, intercelestial level and intracelestial level. What is this time and space? Kala Gamana. This is where that concept of Nada Bindu Kala came or Nada Bindu Kala came. I was speaking about this, right? Now see, the moment I am talking about this point, right? There also actions happen. Actions in the sense, two atoms coming together in convergence or you know, uh, two, uh, two planets colliding with each other and creating that force. Likewise, here also, there also at a higher level, if we really see the kind of actions with those actions, a planet is generated. Likewise, when we do our actions and when we experience that force, this human existence which is more or less 
based on the consciousness as a as an elemental part when it travels through time and space it has certain forces from external and the moment that external force starts colliding with the internal force wherein we are creating that's when the output starts happening think about it ladies and gentlemen this is the beauty of vedas and upanishads this is what is the true meaning true extract extracted the meaning of vedas from the subjective and objective point of view and why am i talking about this actions and experiences that happen outside and i have often used a shloka called antarmukha samaradhya bahirmukha sudurlabha this antarmukha or bahirmukha are the two aspects of the facets two facets of the life of the two facets or two facets of the human existence and this is where this shankaracharya shloka which i am talking about brahma satyam jagat mithya satyam and mithya both play the key role the satyam which is there right it has that point of reference to time and space that this human consciousness travels this is where this drashta and drushya aspect comes into picture in cryptic terms in cryptic terms if one asks me this so called uh, travel of ta- what you call not limited consciousness is not limited by time and space is nothing but the very yoga drashta's aspect it travels actually the point over here is this shastra so called natya shastra is based on the yuga drashta yuga drushya yoga drashta and yoga drushya that is uh, the primary part of the study of natya shastra focal point and this is where actually like you know saptaswaras resa rega resa rega rega gare 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 sa sare 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 gare sa gare sa resa 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 and the moment it comes to the self image that is where the makara bija comes in the picture ma 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 pa tha ma pa tha ma da pa tha pa tha pa ma tha pa ma tha pa ma pa pa tha pa tha pa tha pa ma 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 now this is directly or indirectly getting us connected from the consciousness point of view. not even subconsciousness this subconsciousness is somewhere there but at subconscious level which is slightly lower right 
this is where that you know that time travel and space travel starts happening and this is why actually like you know mithya jagat satya jagat mithya and satya mithya is something which is more or less related to illusion part illusion and delusion part satya jagat is related to reality and unreality how do you actually like correlate it correlate with this with this time and space time and space have been the talk of the town and today this is the reason why even when nasa or uh, sun or uh, any uh, philosopher or research scholar so are doing research i don't think so they would be able to get to that point it's a very deeper study in a way plain and simple as simple as that the point is consciousness over here is not limited by the space and time Con these thoughts that are coming right they profusely come to your mind just like like they downpour in the sense like downpouring in the sense like they come without any break they make they indulge your uh, they make the mind indulge in in such a way that you don't know which thought is uh, legitimate thought and illegitimate thought and you think that that is correct and that's when this uh, action starts happening and this experience also starts you start experiencing that likewise as i was comparing our human brain which is having 65 billion neurons to 100 billion galaxies in the universe multiverse what happens is these thoughts start traveling back and forth back and forth back and forth and thus the consciousness of the human body the human brain consciousness at human brain at agnya chakra starts thinking and thus that reflection creates an image and this is what is called your self image and this is why this is where the natya shastra separates comes into picture dancers have a net over it classical dancers have a net if they get into the intricacies and the internal working aspect of this ladies and gentlemen and for a non performer also it works in the same way this is where as i was telling yoga drashta and yoga drushya comes in picture yoga drashta yoga drushya yoga maya yoga maya by and large this concept is not so very easy to be understood it has to be experienced that is that is the reason why time and again in my videos i always say 
you need to experience this only then you can understand and this is the beauty of understanding the real nature of feminine form and that is the reason why i keep on telling we have been consistently and effortlessly without any efforts we are not living to abuse that feminine form at a minuscule level and we are just going at uh, what you call sublime level understanding the subject subject at sublime level and just going out of it think about it ladies and gentlemen in my next video i will be talking about the transformation aspect at conscious levels what kind of transformations happen for now understand this i know it is a bit cryptic and tough though i may have explained you but as i said you need to experience this as an experience see you have to be an experience sir till then stay blessed have blissful life may the guru's grace be with all have a nice day ahead